Now I gotta ride or die What's going on YouTube, just JK and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video and in today's video we're going to be building Hans 2011 Lexus LFA using this ETL1. So straight off the bat this car is very much what we need as it looks right now. Uh, we aren't going to have to make too many uh, cosmetic changes to this. It's a shame that we don't have um, a non wide body version of this as an option. It would be nice to be able to decide whether we want a wide body on this or not. Say like if the standard version of this ETL1 didn't have a wide body and the, then the wide body was sort of like an additional option in Los Santos Customs that would be perfect but uh, we're stuck with it unfortunately uh, we don't necessarily need the wide body for this particular build but like I said we're stuck with it so we'll just have to deal with it and also like I said the overall aesthetics of this car is pretty much what we need it's already got the, the hood um, vents it's already got the right bumper by the looks of it uh, we're just going to have to change a few little bits and pieces and I'm going to run you through those changes right about now. So as always we're going to start this build with 100% body armor then we're going to go to the brakes and grab the race brakes then for the bumper. So we do get an option for the front bumper but like I said this is pretty much what we need already. Uh, the only options we've got is to add on canards or we can do the canard with the intercooler. But like I said man the front bumper is stock is pretty much identical to what we need and we don't need an exposed intercooler like that and we definitely don't need them uh, racing canards so we're going to stay stock for the front bumper for the rear bumper we do get an option of a tow hook it is very minor you can barely see it if you want to add a tow hook i suppose you could do but then it's not really following the laws of the build and <laughs> so to speak and i think it looks kind of silly to be honest it's dead center it's really small and we're going to stay stock for the engine we're going to go for a level 4 engine upgrade for the exhausts at the moment we've got them at the side as you can see where are they this side and i don't think we can change the position of them unfortunately which is a shame um, because hans lfa does not have the exhaust protruding from the side um, so with that being said we're not going to have a titanium because that does exit a little bit too far for my liking it's a bit of a trip hazard so we're going to stay stock for the exhaust for the hood like i've already said man the hood vents are perfect for what we need and we don't need a carbon so we're going to stay stock then we're going to move on to the lights we're going to get the xeon headlights so this car usually comes with a livery already installed like if you're playing on console or if you buy it online it does usually come with a livery which is one of these bad boys um, because i'm on pc and i've just spawned it in using the menus mod and um, yeah just it spawned in without a livery so um, I don't have to change it but like I said usually when you purchase this vehicle it does come with a livery already installed so if you do have a livery you just need to remove it then we're going to move on to the mirrors so at the moment the stock ones are pretty much what we need and the others don't change color uh, sorry don't change design until you get down to the bottom which is the custom mirrors we don't need that the stock mirrors are, are perfectly fine and because the car is all going to be one color you might as well leave them stock so then we come down to the respray this is where the actual changes really start to take shape so we're going to go respray primary we're going to go to the matte color and we're going to grab a matte black and same goes for the secondary color also into matte and it's going to be matte black so then we come down to the spoiler option at the moment we've got this huge spoiler attached to it as standard uh, but we do need to change it. Initially when I first thought of this build, I thought that we didn't need a spoiler. But then looking further into it, I do notice that there is a little spoiler attached to this car. And when I say little spoiler, I actually do mean it is quite small. And it looks kind of silly to have such a small spoiler on such a big car. But that's the way it is. And this drift wing, in my opinion, is the closest to what we need. These ones look a lot better, obviously, because they fit the car better. But from what I can see... The drift wing is um, unfortunately <laughs> the closest to what we've got because I think it looks kind of silly, you know. It might look a little bit nicer, like I said at the beginning, if we didn't have this fucking massive wide body kit on the car. Um, it might look a little less ridiculous, but it is what we need and uh, stay true to the build. We're going to go with the drift wing. Next we've got the transmission, we're obviously going to get the race transmission and the turbo tuning. Right guys, so next we could come to the wheels, it's going to be up for debate, as always, usually with these builds. Um, the wheels are always usually a, you know, a talking point, 
because there's so many different wheels in this game looks that looks very similar to each other it's really difficult to be able to nail down exactly what we need uh, so when we do go into the wheels uh, I think the argument is going to stop and we need to go into the high end but the arguments are going to start whether we need chrome wheels on these or not because the car has kind of like a black chrome so they're not that, like that silvery super bright chrome color that we're used to in the movie Han has black chrome rims by the seams of it from what I can see they look like black chrome so with that being said high end is the way to go if you want to go with pure chrome wheels then I would suggest going with these chromatic Z rims or if you want to go more down the black chrome route I would go with these solar wheels which are the ones I'm going to go with mainly because because they're both the same exactly the same shape really um, these solar ones were a little bit thicker with the design where with the chromatic it's the same design but they're sort of a little bit more slim down a little bit more um, slim line um, but like I said if you want to go pure chrome this might be the one you want to go for but because I want to go for maybe like a black chromish kind of look I'm going to go with a solar because the center of these come chrome anyway so once I purchase them if you go go solar I'll go wheel color and go and grab these carbon black and then I think that kind of works out really really well it kind of the black kind of complements the chrome in a way it, it might give off an illusion of black chrome in my opinion uh, like I said both shapes are identical the chromatic and the solar the shapes are pretty much the same and uh, very very similar to the LFA from Fast Five so the shape isn't in any doubt in my opinion it's down to whether you want the little black piece around the chrome like I've gone for or you can go chromatic and just go completely chrome and have it done that way um, but yeah man this is the way I'm gonna go for I personally think this looks a lot nicer but it's up for debate as always man you, you choose whatever wheels you think look better uh, but these are the ones I'm gonna go for and then that brings us down to the final thing to do to this build is windows we're gonna grab the light smoke window tent and be done with it my dudes and as you come out of LS customs here here is Hans 2011 Lexus LFA from fast five now like I said this build was very very simple from the get-go didn't really have to change much to it even though we've got um, bumper options hood options there isn't many but even though we've got those we didn't have to change any because the way it looks from standard is pretty much what we need it's got the right hood vents it's got the right bumper it the only thing we really had to change was the spoiler at the back uh, which kind of looks a little bit better now out in the daylight uh, but still not ideal for this with the size of the car at least it is a shame about the rear window but we can't change that because the ETR one was put into this game as a track race car so there's nothing we can do about that I'm just grateful that we can remove the liveries it is a shame about the wide body again like I've already mentioned but we're stuck with it it's just the way it comes um, but other than that you can tell what it's supposed to be you can tell it's supposed to be a Lexus LFA without a doubt without a shadow of a doubt it looks awesome um, but a very very simple build if you can afford the L uh, the ETR1 in GTR9 I think it's around a million dollars uh, correct me if I'm wrong I'm not 100% sure because I am on PC I don't have to purchase this I just spawned it in uh, so I'm not 100% sure on the price of it but it's not too expensive I don't think and it is an awesome car proper supercar it was put into the game as a track race car which um, speaks for itself really and um, that's why we've got like all these racing elements to it like the rear window all bolted up and whatnot and the wide body kit but what we can do to it like I said the wheels the spoiler the color removing the livery for a start is you know the, the right sort of things that we can do to make this look like Hans LFA from Fast Five but in an ideal world we wouldn't have the wide body kit you know and little bits and pieces like that and we would have black chrome as a color for the wheels in this game ideally but we don't so this is the best i could do with this build i hope you guys did enjoy this one if you did make sure you hit that like button and if you haven't already want to subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos like this and until next time guys i'm out adios